Hey guys, Sam here with Fence Twins TV, back with another video. Our tournament this weekend got canceled, 20 mile an hour winds, 35 degrees, and raining all weekend. So today, we're in the warehouse and I pulled out a few baits to show you guys our top wintertime baits. Now the main thing to realize in the wintertime is that those fish that follow the bait up shallow in the fall are going to start moving back out to the main lake in the wintertime. Now you can find them on rocks, you can find them on drains, ditches, there's a lot of different places you can find these fish and they're all going to be feeding on different types of forages, so we use different kinds of baits to target those fish. Now as opposed to the spring and the fall time, we're going to be fishing long flats and points. In the winter time, we're going to be fishing steeper and deeper banks. So something with a 45 degree angle or more slope is most of what we're going to be targeting. And we'll parallel these jerk baits down that bank, especially one with a lot of rock or different types of structure. Another really effective way to fish the bank in the winter time is with a crawfish crankbait like the Spro Rock Crawler. Now this one is the mud bug, we like to throw it in a little more clear water. And this one is called the Molting Crawl, we throw it in a little bit muddier water. Now once water temps start seeing around 50 degrees, the crawfish are going to start molting and they'll start shedding their exoskeleton, making them more visible. Therefore, these bigger bass come from deeper water up shallow and come targeting these crawfish. Now we'll fish these mostly the rockiest points we can find where these crawfish are going to live. Now let's look at going a little further off the bank into ditches, drains, and narrow creek channels. If you haven't seen our last video, went out on Lake Lanier and caught some fish out of a ditch and I showed you guys our graph and what we're looking for and how we're catching those fish. So go check that video out if you haven't. I'll leave it right up here in the corner and you guys can check that out. Now if we can find bait in those areas, there's a really good chance there's a lot of fish in there. Now the first bait we like to fish is the flexit spoon. This is a vertical fish jig. This one doesn't have tape on it, just some glitter. This one does have tape on it. We haven't found a different. They both work really, really well. Now how we would normally fish that, we're just going to graph straight down the ditch and whenever we see bait or see fish, we'll drop it down there, jig it a few times, pull it back up and do it again. This next bait you can fish vertically like the flexit spoon or you can line the boat up and cast straight down the ditch and run it back to you and that's going to be just your traditional worm. This is a shaky head, fish it really really slow and as you guys know they always catch a lot of fish. Next we have two baits that we use a lot when we're fishing offshore and that's going to be the fish head spin and a jig head with a swim bait on it. If you're seeing those fish are more suspended, you can just pull these through the middle of the water column. If not, the fish are closer to the bottom. You can fish them like a swim jig and just drag them and hop them along the bottom. So one more bait we're going to fish in ditches is going to be a jig. This one here is a swim jig. We'll also use a football head jig a lot of times. And we'll just throw that down the ditch or creek channel where we see bait. And it's not going to produce quite as many fish as some of your other lures, but normally you get better tournament quality fish. The last wintertime baits I have is the Spro Aruku Shad, a lipless crankbait. This one's a crawfish imitation, and this one here is a gizzard shad imitation. Very, very versatile baits, a ton of different applications you can use them for. We prefer to use them for paralleling rock banks and riprap. If you want to see more videos on these baits right here, check out last winter's videos. We had two times we caught around 20 pounds of bass on them. So great, great wintertime baits right here. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys go out there and do well in these baits. And we look forward to get back on the water whenever this weather clears up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go down and click that red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.